another Hero Arts video. Today I thought during our wedding series I would show you a few things that you might use on your table for the wedding. The first was our featured little um, napkin holder that I made out of the doily stamp. And what I did was I white embossed the doily onto a piece of um, craft cardstock. Then I cut it out with my scallop scissors and I made two holes on the back and I put tulle through the holes and then I tied it on top. I then um, took a piece of felt, a scrap, I cut out a uh, flower freehand but you could run it through a die cutting machine and then I took the little liquid pearls and made the little beads for the pearls. So that's one idea and that got me thinking. We were discussing napkin rings one day in the neighborhood and somebody couldn't find what they were looking for and I said simple solution. Take some toilet paper rolls, cut them in half and use paper mache to make your little napkin rings. What you need to make paper mache like you did back in elementary school are little pieces, uh, scraps of paper, you need a form or an armature which you can use uh, with your napkin ring, all you need is the toilet paper roll. Or if you want to make something bigger like a, a little plate, you can use a kitchen luncheon plate or go one step further and make a huge charger plate from a charger. All you do is you put saran wrap on your plate and then you just layer strips and strips and strips of newspaper with some um, wallpaper paste that I found pre-mixed at Home Depot. You can use the powder kind which probably smells better than this pre-mixed kind but anything will work. Um, you should probably make between five and ten layers of this and when I do it I use these real thin uh, rubber gloves like you could get in the uh, medical department at you know, a pharmacy or Costco or something. And then um, that enables you to make your strips really smooth. You want to get them as smooth as possible. You can see I use the Sunday ads in this one. On the uh, little luncheon plate, I made it, I did this fast, so I didn't make it as thick as it should be. After it completely dries, then I took some white latex paint, or you can take gesso, anything you have around, and then I wanted to um, paint it or ink it up. And I was looking, I wanted a light kind of um, blue-gray color, so last night I started inking this up, and I took one of the big uh, daubers, and I'm just inking it. Then I'm going to go one step further, and I'm going to personalize it and make a little design on here for the person. This is a little joke for where we're going tomorrow, and I'm going to make them a little um, plate. Now, obviously, you can't serve food on here. You could coat it and everything, but this is just designed for a joke. And if you're making a charger plate, um, you're not really going to have food on here because you're going to have your plate on top. But think about this, you could make something that says birthday girl or wedding girl or shower girl or whatever or um, customize it with whatever design you want with the stamps. With the little napkin ring, I'm going to ink up this long design on this end and just roll the stamp in it like this. and. Um, hope for the best. It's not very smooth. You can sand it down with some sandpaper, but I'm not going to go that far. I'm just going to kind of take this and try rolling it in a metallic ink. Okay, so there's a fun little project for you to do with your kids this summer. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.